Jugu's arrival throws the male hierarchy into turmoil. Over the next few weeks, as he deposes the troop males rank by rank, threat yawns and aggressive displays between rivals quickly escalate into violent battles. <laughs> Soon, every male, including Jugu, wears the scars of battle. With each encounter, Jugu inches his way up the male hierarchy until he is second only to borrow. <laughs> Boro simply looks on while Jugu enjoys his first courtship. The alpha male's priorities have shifted drastically from procreating to protecting. Boro's progeny has dwindled to Shashi's son and Chobi. He now devotes his full attention to keeping his last two infants alive. But without offspring, Boro's alpha tenure is meaningless. More than a third of Okavango Delta baboons do not survive their first year. Disease and predation claim some, but most are killed by immigrant males, impatient to bring the mothers back into estrus. When Jugu wanders close to Shashi, she takes fright and flees with her son. Boro charges to their rescue. He and Jugu chase each other across the island. Boro lures Jugu into the trees. This is Boro's domain. Victory is certain, but Jugu is equally agile. Boro's scream concedes that Jugu has him in a vulnerable position. Jugu presses his advantage and Boro falls. Boro's leg is broken. The fall costs him his throne. His days as alpha male have come to a close. Jugu is the new king of the swamp troop.